Who can say they lost their kid because he didn't pay $20? How is that not enough fuel for anybody's fire? As you can see, <laughs> every single picture, there's a smile on. You can see he's where he wants to be. Always out in the woods, always playing with wildlife. He said that when he's gone, this is before he knew he had this many problems, that when he's gone, he wants to be put back in nature. It's where he was happy. When I finally got down there, what was left for me to see is a tire track on the curb. A pile of mud where his truck was pulled out. He was told that his medication was $250 out of pocket to pay for it. We don't have $250. We never have $250 extra. He had problems, yes. Who doesn't? We all have problems. Doesn't mean it's a death sentence or shouldn't be a death sentence. He was working on his problems. He was doing what we were told that we're supposed to do with these problems. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. And that's what I was saying. He was doing better. Last month, my 29-year-old son tried to get his prescription filled for his depression when he learned he missed a $20 new charge and had to wait a month for his plan to kick back in. He's dead now from suicide. 20 fucking dollars. I'm devastated and can hardly breathe. What the fuck? That went out to 35 followers. Within a day, I had 9,000 retweets, and it should because there's just too much of this crap going on. My Twitter feed wasn't just about Danny after a while. There were thousands of people that posted on their horror stories just as bad, some even worse than Danny's, of similar situations with the same ending result. People dying for insurance company profits. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Scott. <laughs> That's what they posted on my Twitter feed. We're sorry about your loss. Would you please direct message us your private information? We'd be happy to talk to you. I don't want to talk to them. They killed my son so that they can make a profit. I promised Danny and his, at his funeral. I told him I would be on the Senate floor. I am going to tell those senators myself. They will look at my face and they will see that their laws have consequences. Their decisions have consequences. I rise today to tell the sad story of Daniel Desnoyers, who took his own life because he did not have the money to buy the basic drugs that he needed for his mental health issues. You know, I'll tell you, I wasn't going to get political. I was gonna vote again. I wasn't gonna to try to talk people into voting. I wasn't even gonna share memes because people are gonna laugh at me. Well, they're gonna laugh at me. Maybe not as much because I got a little bit of fire behind me now. <laughs> my son is gone. That's my fire. I don't have anything left of him but this fight for him. How could I not fight for my son? That's the fire that I need. I didn't start this fight. I tweeted this out to 35 people. 
this isn't my spirit, this is Danny's spirit. He got this started and I'm gonna fight it for him. I'm not gonna stop. Not until my heart stops because he is part of that. Sorry. No, Dan, Dan, Danny's my fire and I will continue fighting.